All right, so I'm sorry you had to miss it, but <laughs> I ended up taking my aggression out on this thing. <laughs> friends, it's Alex with Be A Vintage. We are going to do a video today uh, on some art creations of mine. I have been doing even more in-person events and uh, it's been going really well for me. I'm super excited about that, but it also proves problematic and that I need to make more stuff. And while I do have some more ideas for some more um, stuffies from my Gothic Toy Box series, I also have a few other projects that ideas that are swirling in my head that I really want to try out. So we're going to see if we can do that today. Let's see what we can get done today and what creations we can make. So I've been kind of looking for frames that are more like shadow boxes so that I can, you know, do something with like the skulls and bones that I have to put inside maybe with some green faux plants and flowers and things. And so this is only $3. So I think I'm going to snag that. It just looks like it's a bit dirty and I'll just have to figure out how to take it apart. Hopefully I can do that and have it still be functional. <laughs> okay. I am so not sure how this is going to work out and I'm fairly, I'm very nervous that I'm going to break it, but I only paid $2 for it. So we're just going to have to see what happens. See if there's any way. I can get it off. I'm almost curious if I can just like, maybe, nope, that's gonna, I'm wondering if I might need to use like a uh, screwdriver to see if I can like, don't think I want to use that. That's not really going my way. The hammer's not working. So there's this little lip here. I'm gonna attempt to see if I can saw it off and maybe open up the back because it I think it's hollow so we're gonna give it a try so unfortunately I sawed it a bit and I can tell that this is not I thought this was hollow but it's not I can see more wood under there so this is not gonna work all right so I'm sorry you had to miss it but I ended up taking my aggression out on this thing because I was just like, ah, oh, I really wanted this to work out. And so I basically just hammered the back of it and then I started to notice it was getting loose and then I just ripped it right off. So now we have a giraffe we can take out and we have the, we can put a scene in here or something um, and then put it back. All right, so I'm looking through the bones to see what might look good in that doesn't seem like it looks all that great, and I feel like the skull is way too big for this, unfortunately. This little, yeah, it's gonna be way too big. So what I'm thinking is maybe this one, although I much prefer you be able to see the teeth and jaw. That looks kind of cool. Just making sure that it stays in place. It's gonna be a little tricky, but we'll see if we can figure that out. But I like that, it shows the teeth. All right, so I'm in like a design phase and this is kind of what I've come up with so far. I feel like I need to dry brush the uh, little praying mantis to make him not so gold, like make him more of like a aged gold brass color. And I also think there needs to be more moss, like I have some moss behind this guy, uh, but I'm still playing. I think I've also decided I'm going to paint the background, the, the cardboard background, because I think if it was black it would pop better. All 
So I ended up going to uh, goth club last night, and my have a friend who's also an artist. He's a painter. His name is O. I'll actually link him in the his Instagram in the description because he's like an incredible painter. And we hung out on the patio of this bar at Goth Night, and he painted while I worked on the rest of this guy. So you can see uh, kind of how he how it's turned out. Um, I'm just gonna add a couple more things. I'm gonna be putting this up here because I feel like it needs just something a little bit more with like white in it to balance it out, and maybe just a little bit more moss. the final product. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out uh, and really excited that I was actually able to use this frame that I found at Salvation Army to make it happen. I have been using all sorts of things to try to get under this lip here, this metal lip, so I can try to take this head off gently. Nothing is working, nothing fits and gives me leverage. So we are going to have to get a little intense and hope for the best. So wish me luck. Okay, so by sheer force <laughs> and beating it senseless, somehow I was able to loosen it enough that I could unscrew the, that big head in the front and I was trying to do the same with these, and then I realized as I was spinning it that what's spinning for the heads are these little screws. So I think if I take the screws out, I'll be able to take the heads off. So we're gonna try to do that. So I promise eventually I'm gonna get better at this. <laughs> Filming the different steps, because what happens is I just start working on my art and I don't think about it. And so if you guys remember, I was fighting with this thing, trying to get the little little balls, little like uh, wooden ball heads off the tops. Originally I was gonna do porcelain doll heads, but I have another project in mind for those. So I uh, ended up ripping off the heads of some dolls that I have. Uh, these two in particular, and this one I already had um, just randomly in my crafting materials. We've created this super creepy, uh, but still cute in my opinion, pull toy. I do think I'm gonna have to replace this little rope though, because it keeps breaking and I don't want it to break on someone. You guys know I've been looking for a purse, a black fabric purse, to work on making another like Wednesday Adams inspired type of purse. Finally found one and it's in pretty good shape. Looks like it's made in Spain. I'm not familiar with the maker, but I don't see a lot of staining, which is good. And it's eight bucks. So I think we are going to give it a shot and see if I can make another one of the purses I make. New project. I found this purse the other day, uh, as you probably just saw in the video. And we're gonna make this into a Wednesday Adams purse. I've made one before uh, and it sold pretty quickly. So we're gonna attempt to do this again. So I have this vintage um, celluloid face and I'm gonna stuff some, put some stuffing in it just to give it a little structure. And also, uh, I'm gonna glue the cardboard behind it, just again, to give it a little structure so that when I'm pushing down on it, and also when someone like goes to snap it into place and out of place, that it's not so fragile. So that's what we're gonna work on first.
Okay, so here's how it's looking. I think I'm pretty much done with her. I'm just actually trying to decide if I still want to put her on the purse and make her a purse or if I want to put her in a frame sort of. Obviously I'd have to paint this first but she might be kind of cool <laughs> just on the wall like that so I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it and make a decision. I can't wait on it forever. I need to make stuff. I wanted to let everyone know about my next vending event. It's going to be at Stacy's on Melrose on April 24th, 9 p.m. No cover. It is a goth right, night. So it'll be great well, music, good times, and I hope to we see you there. A bunch of progress on some projects that I've been meaning to do, uh, and it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a comment if you um, have any uh, suggestions or ideas or tell me what you think of some of the things I'm making. I love the feedback. Uh, even constructive feedback is good, is good feedback. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. And if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. See you later, friends. Have a fantastic week.